Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com and in this Lightroom tutorial I'm going to show you how to correct skin tones in Lightroom. Specifically if you're working with presets and you're using a preset that has a very vivid color tone and it totally changes the tint of your, photo, of your skin tones. So we don't want unnatural looking skin so I'm going to show you how easy it is to fix this in Lightroom. Now it's a little different than using Photoshop Actions because in Photoshop you can just use a layer mask and brush off that nasty color but with Lightroom there's a little bit more guesswork and you're gonna have to think about it a little bit more depending on the colors that you're trying to get rid of. Okay so let's get started. I have already edited this photo um, as you can see the before and after really clean edit but say I want to add a little bit more color to it or make it a little bit more of a creative edit I'm gonna come over here to my retro magic collection it's for Lightroom 4 and 5 it comes with four different folders so you can stack and layer different presets and it has over 60 presets I love this collection so I'm gonna come over to my polished presets and these just add a color tint to the photo as you can see some of these are very drastic and some of them are a little bit more subtle so I'm gonna come all the way down to th my think pink because I think that really adds a nice warm pinkish color to the photo and it really just depends on the photo that you're working with but this one really complements it so before I apply this though I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna create a snapshot and I'm gonna name it before tint so we can come back and look at this later after we apply the tint. Okay, so I'm going to click on it and it's going to change the photo and I'm going to create another snapshot and name it after tint and snapshots are just basically um, snapshots of what you've been doing so I can go back and see what it looked like before the tint and after the tint. So I really like how this photo looks after the tint. It gave it more warmth but his skin tones are really really pink and they're just too magenta so I want to bring back that creamy skin tone so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to my adjustment brush and this is the easiest way to do this in Lightroom so I'm gonna click on this and I'm going to maximize my menu and show you the brush that I'm using now I already have a brush that I like to use for toning down magenta skin tones in Lightroom and I have named it cucumber green and you can just see it's just a color brush that I created using this very very pale green so I'm going to minimize this now now that I showed you the color brush and I'm just gonna go over his face because really that's the only part of the photo that I want to change I want to keep that nice pinkish warm pink color to the rest of the photo. Now you can see when I went over his face it made it look a little green. So we don't want him to look seasick so I'm going to adjust the amount using the amount slider and I'm just gonna take it down a little bit probably to an 8 that's good. Okay and so when you're done you just press done so you can see let me create another snapshot and label it after brush. So you can see the before tint and after we applied the brush. So we're giving getting back that creamier skin tone. Now I could go back and apply uh, adjust the amount a little bit more because it's still a little bit green but this is the easiest way to offset um, really funky skin tones in Lightroom. So like I said earlier it takes a little bit of guesswork depending on your photo the amount of tint is being used and what colors you need to use so always choose the opposite color that is giving off that tone so if it, you have a really really yellow skin tone then choose like a very very soft light blue brush so let me just show you before and after one more time so that's before and that's after so it's very subtle but it makes a huge difference in your photos so if you're using presets which I hope you're using mine um, at twoblooms.com you can easily adjust the skin tones in Lightroom 
So if you found this tutorial useful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel to get weekly Lightroom videos delivered just to you. So thanks for tuning in and if you're really interested in any of my collections, feel free to visit us at www.tudeblooms.com and I will give you a link in the bottom of this video description for a link to some free Lightroom presets that you can use however you'd like. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time.